Like, I'm pretty much in shock, to be honest with you. Well. I'm a little pissed off, to be even really honest with you. Um, so I'm a little taken back by the whole thing, but I can tell you this, I take that very serious, and, and so does he, as a matter of fact. Like, I don't know, I, I don't know anything about him saying shit like that, and I'm going to be mad as hell if he did. And then all the guns will go away. Yeah. And they won't be accessible to him. You just heard a snippet of audio obtained by Fox News from a law enforcement visit last year to the home of Colt Gray. He is the 14-year-old student accused of carrying out a deadly mass shooting at a Georgia high school this week. Now, the accused shooter and his father, Colin Gray, they were speaking with deputies after online threats last year to, quote, shoot up a middle school. Now, they were reported to the FBI, but at the time, the agency didn't have any grounds to make any arrest. Well, now, both Colin Gray and his son are facing charges as the accused shooter is expected to be in a courtroom virtually for the very first time today. Now, the charges against the father include second degree murder, involuntary manslaughter, and cruelty to children. The New York Post is reporting the father bought his son the rifle used in the shooting for Christmas. The son, Colt Gray, is charged with murder and is expected to be tried as an adult. The victims have been identified as two 14-year-old students, Mason Shermerhorn and Christian Angulo, along with two teachers, one of them assistant football coach Richard Aspinwall and math teacher Christina Irmi, who one student says was a hero in her final moments.